What was the highlight of the season? You know what, uh, j just seeing all this come together, uh, you know, from day one when we first, uh, you know, signed the dotted line and coming here and, and you know, seeing the stadium as it was still uh, in the stage of being put together and then just seeing all the guys coming together for training camp and, and just all the relationships that were being built, uh, you know, seeing truly how young we are when we first started because, uh, you know, guys didn't understand the dimensions of the field and some guys probably didn't even know that there there was no fair catching in CFL football and, and then also, uh, uh, but to me, just the entire journey this year, uh, you know, for me, I grew up a lot this year because, you know, now I realize that I'm really an elder statesman as far as in this league and, and uh, you know, besides being, uh, you know, one of the teammates on this team, I'm also a teacher on this team. And But just to see where a lot of our young guys started to where they ended up as far as all the wealth and knowledge and uh, the experience that we all received this year together as a team, uh, it's going to make us better as far as uh, when we all come back together. It's not going to be uh, a situation where we're putting on pampers uh, on day one. It's actually we're going to be maturing men who understand the game of football now. What was the tough part of the season? Uh, you know, of course, uh, when it comes to wins and losses, uh, you know that to me that always affects your quality of life, and and uh, it's much easier to sleep when when uh, you know you're going out, you're executing on a consistent basis, and and you know, of course, I'm only used to having the you know the top offenses in this league scoring, passing, and whatever it takes, and you know, fortunately, we just weren't able to get that done this year, and, and uh, you know that made it even more frustrating because uh, you know I expected much better from us on the offensive side, but it is what it is. I mean, we got to get over our inconsistencies and the things that we didn't do well, and. Uh, make sure uh, we overcome, learn from those mistakes, and uh, make sure that we're on the same page much better next year and that, that the knowledge that we picked up this year uh, it proves into our favor uh, in the 2015 season. How would you evaluate your own performance this year? Well, I mean, uh, you know, that, that's definitely the first thing I'm going to do right now as far as go back and start watching film and see things that I could have done better. Uh, you know, with only two wins, with us only averaging 19, 20 points, I never would give myself a passing grade, especially with that type of offensive output. Uh, but the thing is, uh, uh, you know, if I'm given another chance, I'm definitely going to, you know, get this offense to where I expect it to be, where the fans would expect an offense to be that that uh, that uh, that we have the capabilities of becoming because uh, you know th th this style of football this is an offensive game and uh, we got to get back to being offensive and putting up points putting up numbers and uh, you know giving the fans what they came to see and that's a great offensive team.